Now at 6.02, the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is expected to wrap up today with closing arguments. Jurors will then decide if Chauvin is guilty of killing George Floyd nearly a year ago. And with that verdict looming, the city of Minneapolis is on edge. CBS4 Skylar Henry is in Minneapolis with what we could expect. Keith Maribel, good morning to you. Well, businesses and storefronts in the Minneapolis area boarding up, anticipating any potential fallout. Meanwhile, inside of the courtroom, once closing arguments are over, instructions submitted by both sides and approved by the judge will be given to a jury before the deliberating begins. After three weeks and 45 witnesses, the jury will hear closing arguments today in the trial of Derek Chauvin. I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege. The jury was not in the room last week when Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer, said he would not testify in his own defense. We have the truth down nothing but the truth. I do. They did hear each side build its case by breaking down the dramatic videos of George Floyd's arrest. In your opinion, should that restraint have stopped once he was handcuffed, and prone on the ground. Absolutely. In your opinion, was this a use of deadly force? It was not. Police officers don't have to fight fair. They're allowed to overcome your resistance by going up a level. After closing arguments, jurors will be sequestered for as long as it takes for them to deliberate. The city of Minneapolis is watching and preparing for their verdict. I just hope that we can come up with a resolution that doesn't result in more strife and more anger and and more despair. Members of the Minneapolis National Guard are stationed throughout the city. Some businesses have already boarded up in anticipation of unrest. Artist Simone Alexa painted some of them as a way to relieve her tension. And I think that energy really transfers from me into the piece, and other people can feel that too when they see it. Chauvin is facing up to 40 years in prison if convicted of the most serious charge, second degree murder. Promise. On Thursday, Judge Peter Cahill told the jury as they began to pack for the deliberation process to plan for long and hope for short. But ultimately, it depends on them in terms of what they conclude in terms of the charges against Derek Chauvin. We're here in Minneapolis. I'm Skyler Henry, CBS 4 this morning.